thank you all for this major milestone of the Metro Gold Line, this bus only uh, uh, lanes that will have an incredible uh, transit option here to Woodbury, Landfall, St. Paul, uh, and I really appreciate the commissioners, the mayors, and others who have come here today. I'm going to introduce our first speaker, Cong Congresswoman Betty McCollum has been involved in this project in so many different capacities. I think she has said she is the mother of the gold line. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate all you've done for this project. Thank you, Congresswoman. So first, all the electeds, if you didn't hear your name, come in front, stand in line, let's give you a round of applause, all the electeds. You know, we all have our own lane of traffic to get this job done, and it was done as team one. So let's give everybody a round of applause. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. This was originally, people were thinking of making a, uh, you know, a line, that was going to be light rail. And the numbers didn't work, but we knew we needed to do something. All of us knew we needed to do something. So we're sitting in my office in 714 in, in uh, Washington, D.C., and the Washington County Commissioners, and we all kind of looked at each other. I think, Raphael, you were in the room. And we said, what about high-speed bus? So we did it. And I'm so proud of the way that we all work together. So I'm East Metro Strong. So congratulations to Washington, Ramsey County, the cities of Woodbury, Maplewood, Oakdale, Landfall, St. Paul, and let's hear for the Met Council. And the man who's worked on this from the DOT, not a Met Council, because we had to get some right away from the Highway Department. Here you go, Chairman Zilly. Now we're going to be joined by Senator Tina Smith's uh, special aide, Miles Artis. Uh, hello everyone, I'm, I'm Miles Artis. I am Senator Tina Smith's Transportation Outreach Director. Uh, the Senator wishes she could be here to attend this exciting ribbon cutting and sends her thanks to the federal delegation, our state partners, county and city officials for spearheading and funding uh, this project. Uh, this bridge opening is another major milestone in advancing the operation of the Metro Gold Line BRT. So many Minnesotans rely on public transportation for their daily lives, whether it's work, school, doctor's office, and more. Uh, thanks to the, president, uh, the president's bipartisan infrastructure law, we are making these investments to connect our communities to resources and opportunities. Thank you and thanks, Senator Smith. Senator Smith was in St. Paul when we had the FFGA celebration with our administrator, Norea Fernandez. So she is looking after this project every step of the way. And now we're going to be joined by a person who has strong regional interests, an important partner for all of us, a mayor of Edina, but also serves as chair of the Transportation Advisory Board. Uh, as chair of the TAM, uh, this this organization that, that's composed of 34 people from around the region uh, helped fund helped fund about 75% of this bridge project. This is a connector. And what you really want to think about this bridge doing is not only connecting motorized movements back and forth, but also the non-motorized movements that we're going to be able to accomplish in this part of the metro because of this project that was uh, funded in part by, as I say, by the TAB, by federal monies that come to the region. And so we're so pleased that the TAB level will be part of all of this. Mr. Karwaski is on the TAB with the others as well. So, uh, so pleased to be here and congratulations, Mayor. It's a great connector. Thank you. Uh, now we're being joined by uh, a woman who has been involved in this project uh, for a number of years, and when I first went to MnDOT, she was the chief bridge engineer, now the commissioner for uh, the Department of Transportation, Nancy Dottenberger. Thank you, Chair Zelly, and good morning, everyone. I am so happy to be here today to celebrate with you all. MnDOT's vision for transportation in Minnesota is a multimodal transportation, transportation system, and one that maximizes the health of people the environment and the economy by providing options for different modes. And making this vision a reality uh, requires key partnerships. 
between regions and, and federal, state, and local agencies. And today marks another milestone in MnDOT's continuing partnership with Metro Transit and Council to bring additional transit options to the Twin Cities residents, especially those living in the East Metro area. And MnDOT staff have been embedded in um, in the Goldvine BRT office since 2018 and providing support in the way of engineering and right-of-way management, utility relocation, and now through construction. And the opening of the bridge today marks that very important milestone. Um, looking forward to the gold line opening up in 2025 and taking a ride on it, especially as an East Sider myself. But I remember the time when you're literally engineers working to carve out every inch in order to make this project possible. So hats off to those MnDOT engineers who help every step of the way. We now have a number of county commissioners who are our project partners, our local funding partners, and have been living through this project every step of the way. So, uh, and please uh, welcome our Washington County Commissioners, Stan Karowski and Michelle Clausen, and followed by the Ramsey County Commissioner, Rafael Ortega. Welcome, Commissioners, and Stan. Thank you. So many good partners serving the Joint Powers Board. First of all, Carla Bigham from Washington County is also here. And I gotta thank our partners with Ramsey County. Commissioner Ortega is here. For years we thought about how do you connect the cities more with this gielenberg helmo Bridge. And it finally happened. The cities would never be able to get that kind of money to get it done. So I'm glad that the partners of Washington and Ramsey County could help working with our federal solicitation. The full funding grant was so key. So now you, this will connect both cities. We got both mayors coming up to elaborate on that. My name is Michelle Klassen and I'm the Washington County Commissioner. Um, I also serve as a member of the Goldline Joint Powers Board. This is a very new, a very exciting new piece of infrastructure for our community and we are pleased that the new Billingberg serves all users and abilities. The bridge is an example of how Gold Line is much more than transit. Once the project is open, there will be a continuous trail from Woodbury to St. Paul. The bridge is a critical connection to get bikers, walkers, and drivers safely across the interstate. The bridge will also reduce traffic on Radio Drive and other major roads. The dedicated bus lanes in, on this bridge are part of a larger vision to increase transit efficiency, bring electric buses to the East Metro, and provide alternatives to driving. The completion of this bridge as part of the Metro Gold Line project is an important milestone that came from fruition of hard work and partnership that exists between not only the funders Washington and Ramsey counties, but with Metro Transit, MnDOT, our cities along the route, and investment from the state of Minnesota and the Federal Transit Administration. Thank you. We're going to make this very quick. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank uh, all the staff and elected officials, many of whom are not here over the last 12 years. We began this project about 12 years ago, and it's a common vision of Ramsey and Washington County. And, you know, this is not just a transportation project. It's about economic empowerment. All the residents along the corner will have opportunities that weren't open to them before. So thank you for being here in this freezing day. Take care. And of course, we're talking about the Gold Line economic development, but this is really today about connecting the cities of Woodbury and Oakdale. And now to speak for them as our mayors, well, thank you everybody for coming to the great city of Woodbury today with our um, mayor from Oakdale. We're just delighted to make this connection between our two cities. Um, we've had this in our comprehensive plan for a number of years, but uh, it's really the catalyst of the gold line that is making this happen. We're just thrilled to have transportation opportunities uh, in so many ways to get across these two towns. Uh, you know, since day one, this project has been about connecting our communities connecting the people of the East Metro with St. Paul and beyond. Um, it's also been about looking at this corridor and spurring development and redevelopment. 
Just over this bridge is Hummel Station, one of the largest development areas along this corridor. We're proud to have it in Oakdale. You know, for us as a city, this means new housing, new jobs, new businesses, parks, infrastructure. It's designed as a transit-oriented development, a small city within a city. And none of, that's good, or none of that would happen without this bridge and without this project. Yeah.